In this video tutorial we're going to take you through the steps of creating tags and assigning photographs to those tags. This is a quick and easy way to get to a collection of photographs irrespective of where those photos are sitting in your folder structure. So for the first step I'm going to click on the tag icon and there we go add tag and we're going to give this one a name. I'm going to call this one birds and click save. As you can see on the right hand side a tag has been created and there are zero photos that are currently assigned to that tag. If I go over to a folder, Pilansburg Game Reserve, there I can see a number of photographs of birds. I'm going to scroll down having selected my first one and there's all the number of birds. Holding down the shift key will automatically select all of those photographs and here I have the option of dragging and dropping those photographs over the birds uh, tag and immediately you can see that 34 photographs have now been assigned to that tag. Scrolling down there's some more photographs of birds, okay so let's just add those two and to show you another option you can right click over your selection and you can tag those selected photographs. By clicking on tags there's the tag option of birds and I click select and these photographs have been assigned to that tag. There we go, 38. I'm going to move down and here we have some zebra. So let's add a tag for zebras. Let's click on add. Let's type in zebra. Click on save. And we've now got a tag for zebras. Let's select the photographs again by holding down uh, the shift key. We're able to multi-select and drag and drop those photographs over zebra. Moving down, there's some more of the zebras. So let's select those as well and add them to the zebras. Moving down, let's see what else we've got. We've got a number of Impala. So let's create a new tag of Impala. And there we go, Impala. Click on save or hit enter. And we've got the Impala has now been created, the tag for Impala. Let's select those and let's move down. And there we have a selection of Impala. Right clicking, remember this other option, tag the selected photographs. Now you'll see all the tags that we have created and we're going to click on Impala and we're going to select. Now as you can see I incorrectly spelt Impala and a good option here is to be able to right click onto that tag, modify it and let's correct that spelling. There we go and click save. And as you can see, we didn't change anything. All the photographs of Impalas were still remaining. So that's a neat little option that we have. Let's go to another folder that we've got some other animals and birds. Let's click on Plovers in the Park. There we've got some uh, photographs of birds. They're all birds. So I'm going to click on Select All. And I'm going to drag and drop those over the Birds tag. Immediately they are added. Let's see if we have a few more. I think I might have some under Kirsten Bosch Gardens. Let's have a look. There's some flowers. And here we go. Here's some birds. Let's collect these photographs and selecting those. Now if I've selected, and as you can see, this photograph is now of a flower. We don't want to include that into the birds tag. I can now hold down my control key and click on the individual photographs that I wish to add to this tag. And there you can see the selection is going and including these photographs. Right, let's right click, tag these selected photographs and click on birds. There we go. Now, as you can see in the icons of the thumbnails of each of the photographs, a tag has been assigned to each one of those photographs. This makes it really easy for you to be able to identify when browsing through your photo library which photographs have actually been tagged or multiple tags. So let's click on Impala as a tag and there we can see the collection of photographs of all the Impalas. Clicking on the birds gives us the selection of our bird photographs irrespective of which album and which folder they may actually be sitting in. Clicking on the zebra and there we see the collection of zebra photographs. Right, so that's it. A quick easy way to be able to categorize your photographs uh, very, very quickly. 
and to be able to get instant access to the photographs by the tag name that you've defined. Thank you. For